Shalom. First and foremost, I'm give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kodash, double honor to the apostles, the bishop and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior, is Yahweh Shai. And they are the power of the Israelites. And today they will be the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. And also the speckled bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners, who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and blood, like us back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. With that being said, I want to get into a lesson the Lord was edifying and exhorting, okay? It's going to be something quick. It was just on my spirit. Okay, something that I'm realizing as I'm walking with the Lord in this truth, man. You know, and um, you learn every day, man. Every day you're still learning. Okay, we're not going to be perfect until we're changed. But, you know, day by day, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, we're learning things about ourselves. You know, we're learning how to operate within a body. You know, operate within the spirit. And um, one of the main things I'm noticing is that, you know, uh, as we receive this knowledge from the Lord, is, you know, sometimes, you know, we get into that, because we're judges, man. And we get in that spirit of reproving others, you know, and we reprove as needs be, right? Because that's the doctrine about reproving when we see things wrong. But one of the main things that Howard Shad talked about, let me get this. Is that we have to reprove ourselves first, man. Okay, it's because it's always easy to point out another man's flaws, right? But at the same time, being that we can see others, we should also be able to, to notice things within ourselves. Okay? Do we believe in the scriptures? Are we being hypocrites? Are we operating within the spirit? You know? Things of that nature, man. And Paul talked about, man, family, get that too, Lord will. Paul talked about examining ourselves also, man. And that's a daily thing to make sure that we're not just, you know, uh, lip service towards the Lord, but also examining and correcting ourselves, okay? But it's uh, Matthew 7 and 3. This is um, read our Lord, Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? But consider it not the beam that is in thine own eye, right? Or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. See? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shall thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. All right? And what Yahweh Shah was saying right there is basically we have to get our shit in order first. You know? That's one of the main things you come in the truth, especially being a young man. For you younger, I came out there, man. Okay? And it's all about getting ourselves in order, man. You know, we are, and brothers always say, it, and when you first get this knowledge, you know, get it for yourself first. Get grounded. And root it in the faith for yourself first before you go out there trying to teach everybody, man. Finish your role. You understand? Get rooted in the faith. You know? Get some understanding. Pray to the Lord. You understand? Get your feet rooted. But guess what? It be so hot, you go out there and just start teaching. <laughs> and we all done it, man. You know? But the main thing, you know, the main thing the Lord is saying, like, look, man, get ourselves in order. Right? Set our house in order first. And then you'll be able to help another person you'll be able to see another person uh 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 but he needs to be corrected more clearly right it's second edges 14 13 it say now therefore set thine house in order see and our body is a house man okay and every day is a a, a refining man you know you what we always want to be better than we was the day before okay that's why examination is so important it say now said that now therefore said thine house in order, and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, 
and now renounce corruption, right? But the point I want to get out of it is setting the house and our house in order, man. Okay, and our body is a house. Okay, so we have to get ourselves in order with the Lord first, man. Okay? The Lord don't like a hypocrite. Okay, we can't just be out here pointing the finger, you know, and at the same time, we're doing the same things that we're, we're, we're proving and correcting about, man. All right? We have to take heed to what we're saying ourselves. Okay? And once again, it's a daily thing, man. It's a daily uh, uh, check and balance on ourselves as we reprove others. Right? 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. The word prove goes to test. With the test our own selves. Do we believe in these scriptures? Do we really believe in Yahweh by Shimei al When the, When that fire jumps on us, do we run from the Lord or do we run towards the Lord? Do we make excuses or do we try to correct and fix it? Do we humble down? Because the same fire that we put out, like it says in, um, also in Matthew 7, it said the same measure that you meet should be met to us also, man. You see? And that's just how the Lord set it up. Okay? But it says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Right? We got to test ourselves, man. To see if we believe. You know? It say, know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates. And we have to understand and know why are we here? What are we doing? You see, this is the thing of holding hand. We're not going to the kingdom hand in hand, man. Remember, the apostles always said, since I've been since I've been in the truth, they still say to this day, "Hey, we can't save you." They're looking for the savior, Yahweh Shai, to be saved. But by taking heed to the to the doctrine, taking heed to this word, walking in truth and sincerity, and, uh, truth and sincerity, and with humility and all faith. Guess what? You and your house can be saved, man. Okay? That's what it's all about, man. This ain't a buddy-buddy um, a thing, man. Even though we operate within a body, move with like-minded men, of course. But as it is written, it said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because we all have to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. Whether it be good or bad. Okay? Six, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. So we understand, man, we're not reprobates. Okay? We under, hey, are we able to point out someone else's flaws? We're able to point out the things that go on within ourselves, man. That's why Paul talked about in Romans, the second chapter, right? Two and um, 21. And it reads, it says, Thou therefore which teach of another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, does thou steal? Thou that says a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? Thou that abhors idols, does thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonor of thy power. For the name of the Most High is blaspheme among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. So what Paul was saying was like, look, you're teaching others, right? If you're going to teach someone, that means you're able to what? Discern from right from wrong. Because the teacher has to be able to discern right from wrong, right? So at the end of the day, if we're able to teach another and discern right from wrong, how we how are we not able to discern what we're doing right from wrong? Or to correct ourselves. You see? It's easy to point out other flaws, man. It's easy to say, oh, brother, you got to believe more, brother. But then do you believe? Because what happens is, man, right? It's also about in Galatians 6 chapter. You know how um, we restore one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. Because guess what? The Lord has a a, a dark sense of humor, man, so to speak. Something that a brother could be going through in one moment, right? You could be in that same predicament the next. You see? In the same way you were telling that brother how to handle it, do you handle it the same? And that's just something to consider, man. It was just something on my spirit, man, I was thinking about because we come into a time where all we're going to have is faith, man. We All we have is faith now. 
But entering into this hour of temptation, they bring the MOTB, man. All these things that we've been preaching, all these things that we've been saying. Guess what? It's all going to be put to the test to see if we truly believe, man. And that's what this hour of temptation really is all about. Our faith is going to be tried, man. Our faith is going to be put to the test. Walking in pure faith, man. We do these lessons for exhortation. We do these lessons for comfort. We do these lessons to prophesy, man. All right? To put the Lord's word out there. But the scripture also talk about exhorting each other more and more as you see the day approaching. And we're, we're heading to that day closely, man. These lessons are not for entertainment, man. Because everything that we've been saying, everything that we say we believe in, guess what? All of it's going to be put to the test, man. And our faith is going to be tried to the maximum of our ability of faith. You see? So we have to make sure that we believe. We have to make sure we're checking ourselves. Because it's more than just, even though rebu rebuke and reproving is a part of the job. But the main rebuke and reprove is upon ourselves. To see if we believe. You know, so we don't be hypocrites. Knowing ourselves. Are we walking sincerely and earnestly and truthfully before Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shaka? That's what matters, man. At the end of the day, taking accountability for ourselves and then being able to, to correct another brother. You know, that's what the word sincerity means, being um, um, true, without pretense, not a hypocrite, man. All right? Only got two more scriptures. I'll close out. It was just something that's on my spirit, man, because we have to check ourselves. And that's something that I'm learning day by day, man, because wisdom is going to try us. Okay, these things, these these lessons we do, these things that we say, the things that we say out of our mouth, wisdom is going to try us, man. Okay, and once again, it's always easy to point out another man's flaws or what somebody else is doing or not doing and this, that, and the third. But what about ourselves? Okay, because when these trials and tribulations come to our doorstep, how are we handling it? Are we still having the faith? Do we still believe? Do we run from the Lord or do we pray more? You know? Are we cutting things off that's, that's um, evil to, in our life? Are we fighting? Or are we just laying down getting our ass kicked, man? These are things that we have to examine. You know? Because the days of uh, evil are, are at hand, man. Okay? So Rock 4 and 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways. And bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. That she is talking about wisdom. The wisdom going to take us through some crooked ways, man. Wisdom, hey, man, you gonna, hey, you, you might have had a woman when you came in, you're going to lose that. You might have had a certain job you came in, you might be at a whole different job now. You might have to live with some, you might have, you might have a house, you might have to live with brothers for a second until you get back on your feet. You might have had a car. You had to go back to the bus. You might have been a healthy person in the world. Now you're going through sicknesses and skin disease or whatever the case may be. Different things are going to happen, man. Your family might turn on you. You know? Might have had money in the world. Now you have to go check the check, you know? Things of that nature, man. All type of different things, man. You see? This is all part of the uh, wisdom, trying us, man, right? Trying our faith. 18, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets once she proves the soul, man. And guess what? As it talks about in Job, it's a daily thing. The Lord tries us daily, man, every moment. We're being tried every moment, man. Okay? This is not a day... We're going to be like, oh, okay, the Lord, no, I'm good, all right. No, the wisdom is every day still going to come back and try you to see if your faith is still there, man. You see? As long as we're in this flesh, man, we're going to, hey, we're in the proven, um, we're in proven grounds, man. That's why the Lord said, as it's written, he said, the same that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And we're not at the end yet. We're at the end, but we haven't made it to the end end yet, man. What I'm talking about is at the end when we're beamed up, when we're past the, when we, we uh, uh, pass the test of the mark of the beast, man. You know, Lord, will we make it that far? You understand? And being able to see the Lord come in his glory and the fathership and actually being beamed up, man. 
to see it, to see the salvation, man, to see our Redeemer, to see the downfall of this place, you know? Once we in them chariots and we change, man, and we enter into that new covenant, the chains of the Lord, man, and with new bodies and the law, statute, commandments, not inward parts, then we know we got the victory over the beast, man. You see? Until then, man, we're still fighting. We're walking in faith. Okay? And our hope, you see? 19. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So at the end of the day, man, well, wisdom is going to try us. And we can't run from the fire, man. The fire is only going to help us. And like Paul talked about in Hebrews 12 chapter, though, it's not always fun and joyous, man. It's grievous sometimes. But at the end, what? It brings forth a peaceable fruit. And we need it, man. We need to be reproved. Wisdom needs to uh, put that fire on our ass, man, because it helps purge out the impurities, man. All right? And everybody gets tried in this truth, man. It talks about that in Hebrews 12 chapter also, man. The Lord, the Lord chastises all his sons. Okay? But the main chastisement that we do is, hey, we got to chastise ourselves. Matter of fact, let me get this scripture. I think it's in Sirach. Let me see. Bear with me. I'm going to close out. It was just some of my spirit. It says, um, Sirach 37 and 27. It says, My son, prove thy soul in thy life. Once again, that word prove means the test. And see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. So we got to test our own selves, man. We Hey, nobody knows us better than us. Right? We know what things we need to work on. We know what things that we're weak in. And we know things that we're strong in. We're examining ourselves, man. And sometimes the things you thought you was weak in, you was actually strong. And what you thought you were strong in, you was actually weak. But they all come through examination. But the point being is we know ourselves, man. And we should be chastised. Hey, matter of fact, Paul, that's, man, the why you how about your shot? Paul talked about that, how he um, kept his body under subjection. Paul was chastising himself. And I believe when you go into that word subjection, one of the definitions, it said to beat the body blue black. So Paul was whooping his own ass, man. He was checking himself to make sure he was on point in, um, in the ministry, man. And we should follow that example, man, and do the same. Examining ourselves, man. You know, we don't want to be the, uh, the person... That teach everybody else, but here it is, we're not profitable to ourselves. And that was the that was one of the main scriptures that I was meditating about that inspired this lesson. I'm gonna end it with that. It's all through the spirit, because I did, I forget about that verse 27 was in this chapter, but it's all through the spirit, man. This is Sirach 37 and 19. It said, There is one that is wise and teach of many, right? So we have the wisdom, we out here teaching others. And yet is unprofitable to himself. Why? Because he's not a, a person like that. He's not applying the scriptures that he's pointing out and rebuking and teaching everybody else. He's not even following that same. Uh, um, he's not following the same guy that he's telling others. So yet yeah, others are getting uh, uh, better, but him himself because he's not applying what he's putting out. He's not. Uh, he's unprofitable to himself, man. You know? And we don't want to be like that, man. I don't want to be like that. So we have to examine ourselves, man. And that same energy we're putting out to others, and we have to put it, matter of fact, two times even more to ourselves, man. To make sure we're not reprobates. To make sure we're not walking in a hypocritical mind. A hypocritical spirit, man. And once again, examining ourselves is a daily thing, man. We always want to be better than yesterday. Okay, so I just want to put that out there, man. I'm just meditating about that in the spirit, you know, and Lord will is edifying, all right? So Lord will let us edifying and exhort and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakwadash, Shalom, Kwame Sharala, to the elect.